Well, 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 so some of y'all might remember a little while ago, I picked this stock lock that uh, SASP sent me. It gave me a little bit of a fit gutting, so I just kind of said, screw it, and threw it everything out there. So, uh, you know what? Today, this is actually about two weeks later, <laughs> we're going to reassemble this bad boy. So, go ahead and say welcome. And thanks for coming to another Stock Lock Sunday. This time, we're looking at a reassembly of a really bad gutting job. So let's go ahead and figure out the key pins, and then uh, we can figure out the drivers. And the drivers, guys, well, they're all standards. The key pins are all standards. We just got to figure out which key pin goes where. All right, so... And I'm just guessing for now to figure out which ones are which. Okay, that one looks about right. That one's too tall. Too tall. There we go. Too tall. Too tall. Just right. Just right. Too short. Too short. Actually, I can't even remember. Yeah, this was a six pin jobby. All right, so here we go. That one fit. There we go. Got all the key pins in on this one, all nice and level. So let's go ahead and set that core aside. Go ahead and grab the next one. Locate all the key pins. I was pretty lucky that well I'm getting pretty lucky here. Nope, that one's not right. Here it is. Alright, so now we got that one in there. Everything level. Alright, so we got the cores taken care of. Let me get these both set over here. Go ahead and get our springs and drivers lined up. And there we go. This thing pretty much remained completely untouched for two weeks. I just didn't want to come back to it. Then I had the idea of maybe you know, just reassembling it on a uh, stock lock Sunday for you folks. All right, so there's everything back in order of how it should go. So, no idea which end I want to start first. As far as the actuator goes, We'll see how that sits together. Okay. So this little guy will go in the back of a lock like this. And then the actuator will sit there like that. Okay. So we don't need to put that in right this minute. Um, the first side... I figure it's going to be the easiest side to get back together because on that side I can use a regular follower. And so let's start with, uh, let's call this side the first side, shall we? Oops. I suppose it would help if I put springs in it first, right? All right. I 
this would probably be easier if I angle it this way so you can actually see me putting the springs in there. I guess it doesn't matter which ones go. They're all the same. Okay, so let's start with the last pin. Okay. Not too bad so far. I'm not flipping anything out. Throwing anything where it should go, shouldn't go. I don't want pins falling out in my face. Just a nice, relaxing reassembly with all of my YouTube friends watching, enjoying, and laughing at my misfortune. <laughs> all right, there we go with that. Um, I will go ahead and use a shim. putting this back together. The main reason for the shim is the gaps right here. There's our shim pin out of the way and locked. Let's actually compress that just a little bit before I try to put it on there because, uh, those players don't like to grab onto them real well. All right, there we go. Side one. Can we continue with side two? Why, well, yes, we can because I've got a pinning shoe. <laughs> Would I be able to do it without it? Probably not. Okay. And you know what? I think I already screwed up just a little bit here. I can't get the thing I'm going to do back on there. All right. So uh, back to spreading the clip out again. Have I ever told you guys that uh, in Europe, I feel sorry for you guys having to deal with these types of locks and gutting them? I mean, pick beard. I know, man. You've you've had some <laughs> pretty epically bad guttings. Uh, I know you've gotten them back together, but I'm sure you're probably cussing yourself the entire time. All right, so we're gonna slide that back just a little bit. Slide the actuator in, then push it back to the locked position. Now drop this thing to do down in there. All right, that's in place. Now I can put the ring back on it.
All right, what a great job. <laughs> uh. There they are. I was looking over my shoulder for my pliers and I wasn't quite seeing them. There we go. Now it's crimped into place. Okay, now let's go for side two. And we need the pinning shoe. So let's go ahead and spread these springs out, make it just a little bit easier to grab on to. I'm gonna go ahead and load all the springs. Okay, we'll stick in the pinning shoe and naturally I can't see a darn thing down in there. Um, and I probably should have printed some of these in white. Holy crap, I see nothing in there. Uh, where's my little flashlight? You know things you don't use at your desk very often and they wind up going somewhere else and you never bring it back. Yeah, that's what's happening here. All right, so let me get, I'm gonna have to get this off camera a little bit maybe to be able to see down in there, we'll see. See if the light can hit it just right. Okay, that was pin six. Pin five, pin four, pin three. Pin two, and last but not least, pin one. It's starting to look like a lock again, guys. We might we might have some we might be having something going on here. So now we've got to turn this thing all the way around to where it's facing that direction, and. Now I need a pinning shoe. Just so happens that I've got one right here inside of the Huck kit. All right, we slide the pinning shoe in, slide that out, take my lock core without dumping any of the pins, which I did, I dumped pin six. There we go. All right, back in frame. We slide it in with the key pins facing the top of the lock. Because yes, guys, in Europe, and they know it, that's the top of the lock. All right, let's spin her. Working lock here again. If I get this clip around here. Come on. You know you want to go back on. It's like, uh, kind of reminds me of a scene from uh, the movie Happy Gilmore. 
He was yelling at the golf ball to go in its home. Get in your home, ball. There we go. Okay, uh, guys, <laughs> we've got a lock again. Yeah, not the prettiest job with the clips, but you know what? They're on there. It turns on both sides. There we go. It's back together. And once again, thanks to Sasspiece for sending this out to me. Um, it's given us some fun and enjoyment, and I got to sound like an idiot when I was putting it back together and taking it apart. So, hey, all the much better for the self-deprecating humor, and we all love it. So everybody, please stay safe. Don't do anything illegal. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you see a lock out there in the wild, you don't have the keys for it. You don't have permission to open it. Just walk away. Walk away.